If you ever got MC011 suspension, you know that you need to get invoices in order to verify your eBay account and reinstate your suspension. Or even if you don't got MC011 and you just need invoices for your accountant or just invoices for yourself, no matter what, I'm going to explain you exactly how to do it and I'm going to answer this question and show you exactly how I'm doing it. Very easy and very simple. So let's start. Hello guys and welcome to Cardrop YouTube channel. I'm Daniel, I'm the CEO and the co-founder of Cardrop. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to generate invoices from AliExpress or from any other things that will help you to basically get invoices, legit invoices, of course, for whatever you need. I know that most of the dropshippers need that for MC011 suspension, but I'm going to show you exactly and what is the pros, what is the cons, of course, what is the free version giving you and what is the paid version giving you. I don't have anything related to all the invoice home extension. I'm not going to share any affiliate links. This will be just a simple help honest review to help you on your dropshipping journey. That is my pleasure. So as you can see, Ali invoices, three stars, over than 20 users, basically 20,000 users using it. If you want to basically purchase this home extension, you need to go to dropshipping.store. This is the where it sells. Let's go to the shop and let's go with Ali invoice. And with Ali invoice, as you can see, the price are changed. If you want lifetime, it's $60. If you want three months, it's $20, one year, $40. If you need that, just purchase it for lifetime because I don't see why purchase it for $20 and then after one month, it's end. So better to invest and purchase for one year and that's all. So as you can see, this is how the invoices came. Uh, when you get the pro, when you get the paid and not the free version, you have the ability to change your company name, your address, your number, basically everything that you need to do. So if you need your, your name on the invoice, you must get the paid version, unfortunately. So I already have Ali invoice. So as you can see, I have it right now. And you can go to my order page. You can go to Ali invoice options, edit your address, but let's go for Ali invoice option. So as you can see, you can select the sellers like Alibaba, China, Alibaba.com, Europe, Zhang Zhao Jinsu Beijing. Okay, basically Chinese name that I don't know to pronounce, so I won't do that. Uh, company name, uh, seller logo. This is like less interesting. You should change your company name, your address, city, uh, the way that you want of it to be ordered, and some other things. For example, as you can see, hide product image, hide company info. I highly recommend you to use the same settings of mine. Show what is store. Uh, show original order details for refund, seller sign, show logistics, order ID, order status. When you want to get like a refunds, a bulk refund dispute, so you can do that as well. As you can see right now, order ID, time date, and order status. Okay, so it's really important to do that. Uh, order ID, sorry, I was on the, on the bulk invoice options. I want to bulk refunds, sorry for that. So order ID. Partial refund, if there was partial refund, include them as well. And disputed when the dispute was open. So basically, that is Ali invoice option, which I highly recommend you to perform and select it. So I'm not going to waste your time and going over on each option, what you can do, what the benefits, what the pros, what the cons. If you need eventually your name on the receipt, on the invoice, you must get the pro version. That's it, period. So. As you can see, I have the lifetime license uh, because I purchased it for a lifetime. So I highly recommend you, if you are using it a lot, I'm using it for my accountant to give him reports uh, about expenses that I purchased from uh, eBay things, about purchase I did on AliExpress, uh, really easy. So I highly recommend to use Ali invoices if you need that, but pay attention that the free version can give you too much. When you are using the pro version, it's also giving you a lot more options. So as you can see, I'm right now on the order page of my account. And then you can see the options, bulk invoice page, that it's basically bulk invoice, the whole page, bulk invoice selected. So I can select, as you can see here, what to bulk and what not to bulk. Deselect all, bulk invoice filtered, which I 
we'll show you in a minute. And download invoices, CSV export, CSV export filter. What you need to do when you want to get like a month invoices. So you need to, to click on more filters, add the date that you want. For example, from the 1st of October until the 1st of November. Do search. And once you finish, when you click on bulk invoice filter, it will download, basically will create you a one document on all of your invoices. Let's try it. Bulk invoice filter. And then you can see all the orders that I did will generate here. Really easy, really simple. So as you can see, really simple, generate in a few seconds. Of course, if you have higher volume of invoices of orders that you perform, it will take a little bit more time to load it. It depends on your volume. But I highly recommend you to use Ali Invoice Chrome extension to generate invoices for whatever you need. Highly recommended, must use. I think it's the best plugin. And of course, if you can get the free version, so get the free, don't pay it for mind that something you didn't need so that's it for today's video thank you very much for watching appreciate your time if you can smash that like button to show me your appreciation and also subscribe to our youtube channel down below for more videos and tutorials about card drop thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye